Okay, good evening. I'd like to welcome everybody to the Monday, July 10th, 2023 Town of Berlin Select Board meeting. Uh, with us tonight is Flo Smith, Tor Nelson, also um, our police chief, uh, Tom Badowski. Uh, I don't think Diane, our treasurer, is going to be here, so um, we'll move on to uh, additions or changes to the agenda. The only thing I had was for the signing for the appointment. We have one other addition. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, and that is the recognition of Senior Officer Cherish for his achievements. Okay. And uh, let's see here. Um, let's see here. Um, Brad, they are here. Yeah. Oh, um, Senior Officer Tears is present uh, there okay. now, Brad. You'd like to start with that. Sure thing. <laughs> no, we know everybody's cell phone works. <laughs> Blood warning, by the way, man. Who figures? A surprise. Are we gonna sing happy birthday? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's uh, my, my chief's at the head of the table to sing solo. <laughs> oh, you don't want to hear me sing. <laughs> cool. Uh, Officer Cheers, we'd like to take and thank you for your service, uh, for your achievement there with your uh, training. And the cake is, uh, I don't know <laughs> if it's really going to be all that much for you, but <laughs> wish you well. Thank you. <laughs> and I want to appreciate the effort uh, Senior Officer Cheers has made in putting into the DRE process, the drug recognition expert process. It's a definitely a needed position in Washington County. Uh, he's represented the department well. Um, top scores for him. Um, I appreciate his commitment to that. And I appreciate the board recognizing his commitment. Congratulations and thank you, Officer Ch Senior Officer Cherish. Thank you. He's got um, another phase where he has to do some observation down in Florida. Yeah, Florida? Jackson, Florida. Jackson, okay. Florida. But to all paid for by the government, so we don't have to flip the bill for that. Um, and hopefully, he has better weather down there. I, I don't know. I kind of think Arizona was a little, a little bit, yeah. a little bit drier. Colorado. Um, we're not keep you here any longer because I know you guys got to head back over to Northfield, and I want you to be able to make it. And thank luck. you. Not a problem. Be safe and good luck in the travel. Thank you. I'd like to echo the comments. Uh, you know, I've been familiar with the DRE program since its very beginning here in Vermont. It's a very important um, program. Uh, a lot of success. Uh, a lot of good work in keeping impaired drivers or getting impaired drivers off the road. And, and I'm glad to see uh, Berlin Police Department, and especially you, continuing with that program. I appreciate the support. Thank you. Thank and you. This is I want to take the cake back across the hall. <laughs> Thank you. Everybody else wanted to be here, but yeah. obviously <laughs> Mother Nature had other things. <laughs> so you're saying don't go over Coxbrook Road? Uh, last I heard at like 3 o'clock, the Moortown side was not good. How far over do you live? Yeah, Common Road. <laughs> Make sure you take your cake home. <laughs> <laughs> but the guys tonight have it. Would it be? Don't, don't let Chad get it. <laughs> um, I'm wondering if it'd be possible to kind of brief your your okay brief the board on what's going on currently. Is That's Tim there? Point. He is. Yeah, now's the time. Um, yeah, we'll we both have a little report to make. Um, We've been responding to road closures and people stranded all morning, all day, going out with the fire department um, and trying to help people get situated. 
fortunately, the other kind of calls that we normally deal with have been uh, minimal. Um, so it's just kind of dealing with the weather issues. Um, kept in constant communication with Tor for the emergency management side. It sounds like we have a, a shelter at the elementary school right now. Originally, the state put a shelter in Barry City, but Barry City is not accessible currently. Um, so it's a good thing we got something in place where we are. We have, by luck, I guess, um, Swift Water Rescue out of Colchester just happened to be stationed here by the state. So they've been extremely helpful in responding to stranded people um, throughout the day. Did Diane leave? Diane yes. is left. Okay. Yes, yeah. they just shut down 62 and Benjamin Falls. Okay. So, all right. Um, yeah, multiple road closures all throughout Washington County right now. I just um, briefed our department, having our officers stage here at the PD. We are not going out unless it's like threat of life of some kind. And even then, it's probably going to be a fire department or rescue call. Um, but we're staying put and trying to man the phones. Some of us probably can't get home, so we'll be here for a while. So, Jim? Yeah. yeah. Jim's had an active day. I never thought I'd live this nightmare twice, but it's coming true. Um, we've got, unfortunately, a lot of significant damage, and we received a lot more on this second round about two hours ago. We're probably up to I dare say probably 10 roads right now that are closed off to the public that can't be traveled on. Um, and up till the second round, we were doing all right as far as like major damage, but um, this morning we had lost Barla Hill and Chase Road, and we had some wash and other wares, but nothing too bad. But this second round, we've lost that I know of now, Darling Road's got washed out at the big culvert. Crosstown, bottom of Crosstown is completely gone all the way to the Green Bridge for the most part. Um, the state highway is washed out by the Green Bridge. Um, Chandler Road is now washed out down by the Northfield Town Line. Um, Marvin Road and now, yeah, I gotta get up there and check East Road now, but we're we're not doing so well on this second round. So um, as of right now, we're kind of in the same boat that Jim is. I got everybody back here barely out of that last round. We almost got trapped down in Riverton. Um, we helped get some people out down there and then we got everything out. And then um, it's becoming a safety issue for us now as far as being trapped in places where water's getting in behind us. So we're going to stick around for a while and see if we can do some of the smaller stuff and keep an eye on things, but we're going to have to kind of reevaluate come morning time and see if the rain lets up and if we can get into some of these places. So um, unfortunately, uh, not unfortunately, but I am going to start looking out probably after I leave here, as far as trying to find some outside help, outside organizations that are willing to come in and start putting some of these bigger pipes back in the ground for us. And then um, we can go from there. We'll, we'll start doing as much as we can with what we have. Um, I know I've been in contact with Jeff Newton. He's scheduled trucks for me tomorrow to help us haul material to try to put roads back together. So I think besides losing a bunch of stuff, I think we're in pretty good shape as to go as far as when the rain stops, we can hit the ground running and be ready and get things open up and, and going as fast as we can. Brad and Tor, any advice that you could give us from a, from a FEMA cost, things we should be doing for, for, for uh, capturing our costs on, on this? So from Irene, you remember? I know. Uh, just really, you know, I'm taking keeping, pictures of everything. I've, pictures, I've told um, all the guys that if I'm not there to take pictures of everything and we're getting all our material out of Northeast. 
So for every slip they get, they put the road name on it. So okay. it's documented that way that it, so we know the exact tonnage and what we bring and what we go to. So I think that's as much as we can do as far as that stuff. And then, yeah. you know, so good. Thank you. It's going to turn into a logistics nightmare at the end to put it all back together. But all right. anybody got any questions? The, I think the uh, abutment on this bridge over here is finally washed away. Yeah. So. Do you know I, if they can get in from the other side, from the middle sex side? Are they getting in from the middle sex side still or no? The Moortown, uh, down Moortown? No, there's about three to four feet of water there by Barrows. Yeah. Yeah. I know it was over the road by Tate's house when I went to try to check earlier too, so. Once the river goes down, we'll try to see if we can at least get out there and get the bridge opened up and get people out yeah. from that way. So. Okay, then anything else? Any good news? Uh, no reports of injuries or loss of life. Okay, that's, well, that's, that is good. Um, Wish you both well. Uh, just keep us informed if you can, or keep Tor informed. He can get to the rest of us. Anything mm -hmm. to add, Flo? No, I no, just I wanted to also. Yeah. The Pardon. governor has an. Uh, we're on the state highway. <laughs> What's that? Get home now. <laughs> you're, you're breaking up, Flo. That's okay. It's no problem at all. Um, it's a little difficult through a phone. Through a phone, it almost sounds like everyone's talking at the same time. Um, I was just saying that the governor has enacted a state of emergency as well. So FEMA will also be assisting, et cetera. And I appreciate everything everyone's doing. Thank you so much. Yeah, I've also been talking with Trans Michelle Redmond out of the tax over here in the district. So I've met a couple of times with her down in 12 in the okay. passing. I briefly talked with her a little bit about what they're going to be looking for. And so is that road washed out? Do you think Route 12? I've heard rumors that it was. Route 12 from Air Street to up where Gary Markham used to live is. Probably not there at this point. Wow. It was almost half gone when we got out of there. That's how we had to get out because Crosstown's gone, and Montpelier's gone, and Chandler Road's washed out. So we drove through the water to get up to get you know, there's the bucket loaders coming back right now. We had to go to Northfield and back around with the bucket loader. Jeez. So we're struggling with our Route 302 pump station. Yeah, I just got off the phone with Craig. That's taken around some serious water. So sure. we'll be back at it first thing, right and early. See where we get at it from there. So hopefully a clearer picture. Hopefully less wet. <laughs> so all right. You guys all set with me? Yeah. I think so. Thank you, crew. Thank you, Tim. Thank you, crew. Thank you. Yes, pass along. So, all right. If anybody needs me, guys, get hold of me. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Tim. Okay. Any other public comment? If not, um, we'll skip the review of and discussion of uh, Browns Mill um, and the uh, Public Works Board. Um, uh, recreation committee update, uh, set the tax rate. Diane is not online. She left. Okay. Probably about a quarter till. Um, well, I wonder how Vine Street's doing. I, I know 302 was, we chased her out of here because 302 was, getting questionable yeah 
Okay, well, we'll move on then if she comes on. Um, okay, uh, grants, bond projects, review and decision, Tom. We were going to hold that for next meeting, yep. Mr. Chair. Yep. Uh, see here. No. Uh, approvals of licenses, permits, vouchers, and applications. I move to approve payroll warrant 24 01 for payroll from June 18th, 2023 to July 1st, 2023, paid on July 5th, 2023, in the amount of $67,658.03. Payable. Payable warrant 23G24 with checks 23083 to 23105 for payables in the amount of $46,830.30 for FY23 bills and payable warrant 24G01 with checks 23106 to 23130 for payables in the amount of $66,676.68 for FY24 bills. Your second. second that Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Uh, approval of June 19th, 2023 minutes. Can we table that for a week, Mr. Chair? Sure thing. And approval of June, uh, what am I here? Uh, round table. Hearing none. Motion to adjourn. Uh, did we have to do uh, an appointment? That appointment was just signing on, I thought. We had already approved the appointment. We just forgot to sign it. It should be there in my packet. That, that's correct. The, the no. appointment was made and approved. Um, the, just the document was not signed that evening. Um, and then Diane had sent a, I don't know what you call it, an engagement letter for the uh, uh, audit. She sent it like last Thursday or Friday. Does that sound familiar to anybody? The, yes, the, the, I, I believe the engagement letter was again, um, the audit had already been presented um, and that was just signing off on that for the auditors to make it official for the board. So there's that I, document should be in her package somewhere. To well, be signed. I, believe this is, I believe this is for the engagement for the FY23 three audits. Let me see if I can find the email here. Uh, she said Thursday, we have a three-year contract with Sullivan to perform the annual audit for the town of Berlin. I attached a copy of the form from Sullivan that the select board needs to sign at the July 10th meeting so I can schedule the annual audit. Yep. So I move that we sign the audit scope form for the FY23 audit. I second that motion and I will stop up as soon as possible to sign that. It just won't be this evening. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Um, you have to tell Diane that uh, I'll have to sign it electronically. I don't think I can do it. The Like I said, the Butman over here just the the dirt just washed away so i'm not getting out anytime soon oh, crazy <laughs> and uh and washing away rapidly their roads my road's fine just my driveway <laughs> <laughs> 
Can I just make a comment? I know I missed public comment, but I just want, this is Carla, sorry. Yep. Um, I know you guys probably have your resources, but I just want to let you know that we work closely with FEMA at the insurance department, uh, financial regulation during this time to help people if they have questions and issues. So if, if you feel like anybody needs to be referred uh, or needs some help that you, you can always refer them to the uh, insurance division at the department of financial regulation, just, just a public service announcement. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Carla. Um, let's see here. Carla, sorry, yeah. sorry to jump in, Mr. Chair. Is that something that we could put on our website, the information? Yeah, I mean, we mostly deal with complaints if they have some sort of flood insurance and they're having issues, but we also do have resources on our website. You can point to our website for resources. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Because there will be something up going up if it's not already. You'll um, share that with us? Yes. Yeah. yeah, I'll share it with you. Yeah, that would be good. Che Chelsea's on listening, so if you could get that to Chelsea. Okay. The assistant yeah. clerk. She, yep. She can, she can help us get that on the website. Absolutely. Thank you. Okay. Um, if there's nothing else, I'll entertain to adjourn. Did you want to go into executive session auto tonight, or wait till everybody's here? Well, there's only three of us. I like to have a little bit better thing. Um, when I get a chance tomorrow, I will take and uh, um, see about, um, I'll call around and see if we can get another uh, select, uh, another select board meeting lined up for it. Okay, because we do have one scheduled for next Monday. Yeah, but I'd like to take in the, one of the troubles is we didn't get the, uh, didn't get the tax rate done. Correct. It's going, it's going to take and put it's going to put it off of the the uh, the fifteenth. You got thirty Aww. days. You got thirty days, and if we, <laughs> we can't pay our taxes, you can Aww. pay them. You, you can pay them, but it'll just be last year's bill, That's... probably. <laughs> Break my heart, there, Brad. <laughs> we call Diane on the phone. I, does she need to do something with the tax rate? Didn't, didn't she give you guys the tax rate? She gave us some preliminary numbers. Um, the the other thing is that I think the um, listeners are supposed to be there, aren't they? She didn't. I don't think she had them planned to be here tonight. No. I, I think she was just waiting to double check the final grand list today. Um, so I don't know if that changed from what she sent or not. Correct. She she needed to confirm just the, the final grand list to make sure, and then she was ready to, to go and present it. I'm so, fine with, uh, if you want to try to give her a call, I'm fine with that. We have a lot of washed out roads. Yeah. My man, my friend Amanda, well, Amanda was on the chat planning commission, sent me a picture of her road this morning, a video. It's already washed out this morning. I can't remember. It's uh -huh. Bartlett Hill. Can't oh, yeah. That was right my first one. Yeah. Yeah. She was supposed to go to go on, she was supposed to fly out. She couldn't even leave her house. Supposed to go to Denver for work. Well, one of the troubles is all this water is coming out of the woods and it's bringing so much debris with it. Oh, well, even just my little, you know, slope where I live, the water was coming out of the woods. It was, I, all of a sudden I looked up back and it was all pooled behind the fence and running down. I'd never seen, the water's got nowhere to go now. No, I can't get it. No, can't Thank get it. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Well, I'm a, let's assume that she took and got the, uh, got the, uh, checked it over. Um, you've got it in front of you, Tour. Well, I don't have on. a copy. Uh, just a second, Mr. Chair. Hey, Diane, are, are you safe? Okay. Uh, I'm going to put you on the speakerphone. They want to talk to just about the tax rate. Hold on a second. Uh, she, you're not going to be able to hear. You folks on up there may not be able to hear much, but go ahead, Diane. I, uh, 
Okay. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, good. Uh oh. Go ahead, Diane. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. I don't have my stuff with me. I rest all the paperwork is there on that table. And nothing has changed from what you have on the table? Correct. Correct. Yes. yes. So the point seven five seven four tax rate is what you're proposing? Yes, it is. That's uh, what was you know budgeted or what, what was um, accepted at the budget in time of budget. So, and because we're not going to be dying, buying the rate down like we have in the past, then that's the number. Okay. And we don't have any reserves or excess or anything that we want to put forward. There's we have some excess reserves. And right now, I think we're probably right around the $400,000 mark. However, we pledged like 450000 last year. Uh, and I don't know what FY23 is going to end out like. So if we, you know, we could pledge money and then not have any left in our reserves. So that's my fear. Uh, especially after today, I don't want to yeah. get into that reserves too much. Right, right. Uh, you know, especially until we, until we get a better idea on any, any possible FEMA reimbursements. So right. uh, with I that, concur. I'm sorry, Flo? I was just saying that I concur. Okay. Um, so with that, I will move, Mr. Chair, to approve the FY24 tax rate of 0.7574 based on the uh, calculations provided by the Treasurer. I and second that. He checked it before as well. So both of us checked it thoroughly. Okay. Your second. Second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Uh, okay. No round table, or do you want to have a round table, Troy? I have nothing. Flo? Neither for me. Thank you. Uh, See here. Motion to adjourn so people can get home or try to. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We're adjourned. Good luck getting home, Tom. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Be Thanks. safe, Thank Tom. You all. Thanks, Diane. Thanks, Flo. Yep. Bye -bye. Stay safe. Thank you, Diane. Okay.